Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Ty, and welcome back to my Minecraft world. Uh, well, I say welcome back, but this is episode one. So welcome to my Minecraft world. Uh, today, guys, as you can see, starting the Minecraft series up. Um, been playing Minecraft for a long, long time. Haven't played it for a little bit and decided, you know what? I think YouTube deserves to see me play this game. <laughs> and hopefully I deserve earn some of your views. Um, but what we're going to do today, guys, I have a plan. I have a plan. But let me show you guys around. Uh, it's going to be a short tour. The tour starts right here. I have made a starter base, a little, little farmhouse with a pretty big wheat farm. Got a couple of llamas, and I am next to this village, which I have, I think, four or five villagers stacked up into this house. Today, the plan is going to be, uh, actually, let's just let's just look at the terrain real fast. Look, look at these beautiful mountains. There's like a valley here. There's a nice ice mountain here. Some more mountains over there. Uh, really, really awesome terrain. Super happy about it. Uh, anyways, the plan today is going to be farmland, farmhouses, farm stuff just in general. But what we're going to do, we're going to take down all this village except for this house with the villagers in it. We are going to, I have layouts here, we are going to build a villager breeder right here. Of course, we're going to make it look nice and purdy. Then we're going to do a carrot farm, a potato farm, and a wheat farm. All these are going to be automatic using villagers. Um, and then to decorate, we're going to put like the respective crops uh, around it. So I think that'll be super awesome. The wheat farm is still going to extend more. Um, and then we're going to do a little, like a little retaining wall right here. Uh, the retaining wall is going to go around here. We're going to do a little bridge where you can walk under the retaining wall. There's going to be a cow farm right here because I need some cows because I'm munching on some baked potatoes. And I need, uh, I need more sustenance. Um, we're gonna get that tree chopped down and yeah, that is the plan. But before we do that, let's show you the starter base. Maybe I'll get a little, uh, replay mod time lapse or something. I'm still learning replay mod. I'm not the best at it. <laughs> I'll figure it out as I go. Um, but I built this guy. Um, it's actually, when you get farther away, that's what this, uh, this tower scaffolding is for, but I have like the roof kind of curves. Uh, I got a tower attached to it with some, oh, where's my zoom key? There it is. With some lightning rods, um, granite, uh, some, some whatever that is, the drip, dripstone, dripstone, that guy. And yeah, it's just pretty simple. I did the first floor interior right here, kind of show ya. Um, I'm not the best at interiors. I'm going to get better, I hope. We got a couple of blast furnaces, a couple of furnaces, smoker, a little sink, um, I don't know. I, I don't. Uh, the sink doesn't really match with everything. <laughs> um, we got a brewing stand, which comes from the church uh, in the village. Uh, my bed. Got an enchanting setup. Got a little bit of storage. Nothing too crazy. Um, I'm still wearing some iron armor. I have not found enough diamonds to kit myself out. Um, protection. Nothing on the boots. Um, a fortune two pick. Uh, standard shovel, standard axe, a looting three sword, but just in breaking, and then we got a diamond hoe. So that is kind of where we're at. Here's the before of the village, and here's the after. So what I did is I removed all the buildings except the one right there. I removed all of the pathway blocks that come along with the village, and I actually had two other villagers trapped up in the houses up there. So they are now in there. Uh, one turned into an armorer uh, because of my blast furnaces. And then I turned one into a toolsmith. So hopefully I can get some free diamond armor and tools. Here we go. I have to actually trade with them. I traded, traded with this guy a little bit. Um, but I have to trade with them because I just don't have a lot of diamonds. So it would be really nice to be able to get free diamond stuff from armors and toolsmiths, so I don't have to do a ton of diamond mining. Um, as we all know, villag villagers are super OP, <laughs> so it's great. Uh, but here we go, guys. Now I'm going to get started, since I've done all that. Looks great. Uh, we're going to get started on the villager breeder here uh, to do our OP villagers. So yeah, I'm going to get started on that. Woohoo! Uh -huh. 
Oh, and there she is, Hi. mending my tools. My oh. tools are getting so low. Yeah. Okay, I don't necessarily have a great form of experience, but this is fantastic. I do have... Oh, guys, guys, we're back. We're back. I'm going to show you what we have, but yes, we got mending. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I have completed. <laughs> I have completed the uh, villager breeder building. Uh, pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Uh, there's two of our four villagers from in there are now in here, and they are farmers. Uh, I don't know if the villager breeder has worked yet, but they are doing their job. Okay, I think somebody planted wheat. Definitely, definitely planted wheat. Uh, you're not supposed to do that. I'm going to have to go fix that. But this is our building. Um, this is where the beds are. And it's nothing too special. You know, I just wanted it to look decent. The farmers are using um, this composter and that one over there. They can't see the corner ones. Um, and yeah, nothing too crazy. Added a little uh, vine lattice here. The little... Uh, flower bed kind of like right over here um yeah and i did the roof in diorite i put uh these uh, polished diorite to make it look patched i guess um just something nice and simple i think it looks decent for what it is um and right over here right in this area would be uh any baby villagers uh but we don't have any Okay, guys, we are going to do some enchanting. I still have my mending books. I didn't want to put mending on the fortune two pick because I feel like we can get a fortune three pick. So we are 31 levels. We're going to enchant this pick and soak touch. And efficiency three, <laughs> soak touch. Okay, uh, well, hmm. All right, I think six copper will do it. Yes, okay, we're back to 30. Hopefully, everybody cross your fingers. Hopefully, we get Silk Touch or Fortune 3. And... Uh, I don't know what's happening. I'm just getting... I feel very unlucky. I feel very unlucky. Uh, you know, I might just have to combine these two and then get a Fortune 2 book at some point. Yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to have to do... Bam, bam, that's seven levels, and that's 19 levels, so I think we might just do that uh, for right now. Um, I just don't have a good source of experience, so that's worth it. That also repairs that pick to full, um, so I'm actually going to, what am I doing? I'm actually going to do the mending on my shovel and the mending on my axe, and then we'll put mending on this uh, once it's lower so that's what we got guys all right uh now what we're going to do is we'll come on out here uh, i got this little retaining wall built up a little bit with some stairs to go up um the retaining wall is actually going to besides wrap around this way with that bridge it's going to wrap around i'm going to lower this by one wrap the retaining wall all the way around and this uh building is going to be on its like own little island um, but I'm going to build up these guys. They're all going to be the same design, um, probably similar colors, just because they're little pods, essentially. Um, so nothing nothing really too special, just a little design I did in creative. And then I'm also going to get the terrain kind of uh, mas masked out. Uh, that's a hard word for me to say, masked. But yes, um, time lap, uh, time lap. <laughs> I'm, I'm having trouble. Time lapse ensuing right now. Let's go.
we might have an issue. Just, just a little bit of an issue. So I have made our farm area look pretty, look beautiful. Um, or at least, you know, I think so. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the time lapse. Um, that was my first time ever using the the uh, replay mod to do a time lapse. Um, and this is what we've ended up with. So I just did the path blocks, um, bordering with coarse dirt so it doesn't turn into grass. Uh, got a couple of hay bales, but um, I did the walls wrapped around the farms. I did a little bit of mossy stone brick and mossy cobble. Uh, leaves, lanterns, got our carrot farm, our potato farm. Um, I did not make the automatic wheat farm. Um, I just extended the wheat farm, but I think I'm going to do the automatic wheat farm um, somewhere else. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then... If we come to the back of these guys, you'll see we got our villagers in here. There's a villager in here, and we are getting potatoes automatically. I haven't harvested this at all, uh, so yeah, we're doing a pretty good job. Um, but what I w think I want to do now is I want to kind of get away from the farmland just a little bit. Uh, probably go to sleep real fast, a little bit of, a little bit of sleep. So the next thing is the bridge. We're going to get the bridge done. I'm going to drop the land down a little bit and go into the cow farm. Um, but I want to get away from, from this stuff real fast. And, and maybe not real fast, but I want to go do a uh, mob farm. Not a mob farm, but a, a, a spawner. A spawner so I can get experience. Because I found a zombie spawner while I was caving right there is where I marked it. So I want to get that done um, so I can get experience, actually get enchantments on my stuff, get the actual enchantments I want. Um, I still don't have any diamonds. I've spent all my diamonds, so we got to do that as well. But that would be good to get the zombie spawner going. So yeah, I think we're going to do that, and we will be back uh, with you. And here is the zombie spawner. I know most of you that have watched Minecraft or play it have probably built one of these, so... I didn't go into detail with it. I didn't show a time lapse or anything, but this is it right here. We got some tinted glass so the light doesn't leak through. And this is the room. <laughs> very, very simple. Uh, just a little bit of texture, just a little bit of sprucing up, nothing too crazy. Um, I do want my enchanting table down here, but I don't have any silk touch items, so I can't move my bookshelves without like remaking them, and I don't really want to do that. So, I got three levels. Uh, the zombies come up. They drop down here. And I have a scaffolding here, which I'm pretty sure... I'm not exactly sure how the mechanics work, but I'm pretty sure the scaffolding stops um, entity cramming. So, when they walk into the scaffolding, um, the entity cramming won't work. So, um, hopefully they won't like kill themselves and I can just AFK here. But, got a little bit of storage. Nothing too crazy. Now what we're going to do is go back to the base, which is really not that far away. We go back to the base, do a little bit of enchanting. I actually have 10 diamonds that I found while clearing this out. Um, I'm going to make another pick, try and get either Silk Touch or Fortune 3 or even Fortune 2 to combine. Um, and then whatever I have left over, I need pants and I need a helmet. I need to enchant boots. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do some enchanting and whew. Cross your fingers for me, everyone. Cross your fingers. We now have some very basic stuff. <laughs> some very basic uh, Protected Force stuff and Breaking 3 stuff. We have a Silk Touch Efficiency 5 pick, and we have a Sharpness 5 uh, Looting 3 and Breaking 3 sword that we didn't have before. I had to enchant three swords just to, just to get this one. Um, but I have done a little bit of work outside as well after doing the zombie spawner. Um, nothing over there, but I've spruced up the retaining wall a little bit. Uh, got some little structures here just to break up the monotony of it. And then over here, I have got our bridge done. So our nice bridge, uh, the wall is kind of beat up. There's some overgrowth coming coming up and down around it. If we come down through the bridge, we have a little bit more. And we got a cow farm started. I obviously still need to do more to get the cow farm done. But if we come in here, 
Yeah, I've been feeding the cows. That's why I have the wheat in my inventory. We got an, the retaining wall around here. We got just a little cave. I don't know. I figured uh, that wall. Oh, they're following me. Hold on. Hold on. Let's let's breed. Hi, guys. How you doing? Okay, there we go. Um, the retaining wall was really just like bland. So I was like, you know what? Cave. <laughs> Do a little cave. So we got a little cave. Um, I'm going to um, uh, mix this grass up a little bit with like, uh, soul soil and coarse dirt and stuff, you know, make it make it look like cows cows live in here We got a bunch of little babies. They're gonna mess stuff up, but I'm not gonna do that in this episode um, That will actually probably all be done by next episode, but guys, thank you so much for watching You know, I really appreciate it. Um, this is episode one. It's actually taken me about a week and a half to uh, get this episode done I know it's like that. That's crazy. It's not doesn't look like you did a lot like yeah all this stuff could have been done pretty quickly but we got a villager breeder we got a couple farms we got enchantments we got all this uh terraforming and stuff done all this decoration so um this is the first episode i'm hoping to continue this and hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh please comment down below and subscribe it is free i would really appreciate it um but guys thank you so much everybody have a fantastic day and i will see you next time have a fantastic day guys bye